Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this My Lady Elegant Seed Beads Bracelet. I'm showing it step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to do this. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more similar content like this one. Don't forget that I also have matching earrings and you will be able to make beautiful set for present or for yourself. You could check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the perks to the membership are down in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, iris color, golden color and white color. And these are preciosa beads and I will put the exact number of the colors down there in the description box. Here I'm using golden toggle clasp and two jump rings. You could use other clasp of your choice. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could also use size 10 or 12. And these are scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work and now I'm going to take three feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful iris beads and I'm going to slide those down just like this and now I go through all of the four beads just like this. Now I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. I make it by taking my tail thread, going twice through the loop I've made with it and pulling and then just to be sure I will make one more knot. Okay. Then in my next step I'm going in the following seed bead and this is pretty much the same way I started the earrings. If you're familiar with them, if not, I will show it really easy and step by step. Okay, now I take one golden bead and I go through the following iris bead again one golden go in the next one and repeat it two more times okay now I have this in my next step I'm going in this golden one. Okay and I take five golden beads and as I'm exiting from one of the goldens I go in the next one and I pull. Then again I take five go in the next golden And I will repeat it two more times. And with the last five beads guys, I go in the very first golden that I started the whole row from. And I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the next two golden beads. I skip this one which is the middle of the five and it is the one that is sticking out the most. 
I skip it, I mean I don't go through it, but I go through the following one. And then I pull and I help it to go out like this and form an angle. And I take an iris, a golden and an iris. And I go in here in this golden, which is next to the one that is sticking out the most. I'm pulling. Then I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. I help this one to go out. Okay, again I take iris golden iris. And again I go through this one that is next to the one that is sticking out the most. The, the middle one of the five. Then I don't go through it. I skip it in order to form an angle here. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, until the end of this row. Okay, and after I finish this row, I go in the next golden bead and I take five white beads and as I'm exiting from this golden I go in the next golden here. I take five again, go in the next golden Five. Next golden. And I'm going to continue, guys, until the end of this row. And when I do this four more times, I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do now is go through these three beads, the three of the five that I have here. Okay. I'm going just like this. And I'm taking three iris beads and I go here through this white bead. Then I go in the next white that's on my way. Take just one iris and I go in the second white counting from the center. Then through the next one which is the middle one of the five whites that I added in my previous step. Okay and I have three here. Go back like this. Go in the next white one, take an iris bead and again go in the second white, then in this middle one. Three iris beads again and then through this one and if you want to save time also go through the next one and pull one iris again and go through the second one second white counting from the center and through the next one as well again to save time and i will continue adding three one three one and i'll meet you here at this side okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add the last iris bead here i'm exiting out of this white bead and I'm going through the second white counting from the center. You see one second like I did before. And now what I want to do is go through all of those iris beads. And I'm taking a golden bead going through this iris 
take another golden go through these two and then through the third one then I take another golden go in the next iris another golden next iris and what I'm basically doing here guys in this really pleasant and easy row is that I'm filling in the gaps here between my iris beads with golden beads okay and I will continue this the same way until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back okay guys and here is my last golden bead that I'm adding here and what I want to do is reach the next golden bead and go through it and I'm taking just one golden and go in the next golden and through as many beads as I can after that Okay, this is what I have now. Then again, I'm aiming for my next golden. And I want to add one golden between those two goldens that are close to each other. And then go through the next two iris beads. exit in the next golden take one golden and i will continue this guys until the end of this row and i'll be back okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last golden bead from this row and i go in the next golden and also in the following iris okay and I'm exiting here now okay guys this is the first element of my bracelet but in order to turn these elements into a whole bracelet I need to make more of them okay now I did second one exactly like this one so you could go back from the beginning of the video and make one more of those elements and meet me here again to continue now I'm going to show you how I'm starting my bracelet and how I, I am connecting them. In order to start it, I just take my first element and I want to exit here at this side. Here I will make a loop to attach my clasp. Why here? Because my elements will be arranged like this in this direction, not like this. Okay, you will see in a while if you don't get it now what I'm talking about just go here where this golden point is okay now I'm exiting here out of this bead and I'm going to take seven iris beads okay seven of them and I'm going here in the next bit that is sticking out this is the place guys where later I will attach my jump ring and my clasp that is why what I want to do next is reinforce this part how I do this I need to go back and go one more time through here now as I reinforce it you could go twice if you want I think two times is enough and now I want to make a knot and cut my thread 
I'm making a loop. I'm going once, I'm going second time through the loop I've made, I'm pulling and I'm going in the next beads and I'm cutting this tail thread here. Now I will show you how I'm going to attach my next element. I just need to put my needle here from from this side. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I want to connect those two elements using this thread. I'm exiting now out of this iris bead and I want to meet it with this one and with this one and you see how my elements are arranged in this direction with the golden angles pointing like this and if you turn it like this it will change you should turn it like this to be uh, the same okay like this and you should attach it exactly at the opposite side of where your loop for the clasp is because if you attach it like this it won't work again it should be here okay then I take one golden and I go in the previous iris bead okay you see now I have one golden between those two iris and I take just one more golden and I go backwards through the same iris bead okay like this then I will go back one more time through those beads to reinforce them and after the reinforcement I'm pulling and I'm turning my work the way it's easier for me now what I want to do is to reach my next iris angle okay and after I reach it I'm going to take a golden and go in this angle but in the previous element which is the first one from the bracelet and then another golden and I am connecting them and I want to make a reinforcement okay and here if you have troubles going through the beads just use your pliers most of the time you won't have troubles okay now I'm going here through those beads and what I want to do is to make a knot and cut this thread okay I'm going here next to the golden angle I'm making here a loop I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and after that I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread okay now you see my first two elements of my bracelet are attached and then guess what I will make another element that I haven't cut my thread from and I will attach it in the same direction you see not like this you see like this the cross is in this direction 
but like this okay i'll do this off camera and i will continue adding more and more elements until i have six of them and then i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and as i continue adding more and more elements here i have a bracelet that's almost ready with six elements it's enough for my wrist you could add more or less or put an extension chain there are a lot of options and now what i want to do is reach here the other part of my bracelet and how i do this i just go through all of those beads and i'll do this off camera and when i exit here i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay and as you may see guys now i went through all of those beads and I'm exiting here from this side. What I want to do now is to take seven chameleon beads and I'm going here in this chameleon. Then what I do is that I reinforce, then make a loop, go twice through the loop and make a knot like I showed you before and then cut your thread and I'll be back to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay guys, and how I attach my clasp, I take first my jump ring, I open this one up with my pliers, I put it here, just like this, then I take my clasp and put it here, And I just squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay. Like this. And I will repeat this from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now the My Lady Seed Beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials matching these ones or similar to these ones. Like if you remember, I have earrings that are matching this bracelet. So you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support guys and I can't thank you enough for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.